The entrance antiphon for Mass today begins, Rejoice, Jerusalem, be glad for her. Thus, the name for this fourth Sunday of Lent is from the Latin word for rejoice, Laetare. It's Laetare Sunday, a call to rejoice in the middle of Lent. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the reason we rejoice is not because Lent is more than half over, but because of God's mercy. At Mass today, we hear the great gospel parable about forgiveness, the story of the prodigal son. I'm sure you've heard it so many times that you could tell it by heart, but have you ever really thought about what that younger son said to his father? He said, Father, give me the share of your estate that should come to me. When should the estate come to the son? That's right, when the father dies. What the son is saying to his father here is really terrible. He's basically saying that he values his father's property more than his father's life. And after the son disappears and squanders all the estate he's been given, what motivates him to return to his father? I wouldn't call this a perfect act of contrition, one that's motivated by sorrow, by the awareness of how much what he's done has hurt his father. No, what motivates him to return and beg forgiveness is hunger. The great lesson in this for us and the cause for rejoicing today is that God loves us so much that we don't have to have perfect sorrow for our sins. We just need to admit them and ask God's forgiveness, even if we're simply sick and tired of the pain our sins cause us, or if we're afraid. God doesn't care what motivates us to seek his mercy. He just loves to forgive.